everyone, it's Alicia with the Dockerty Dozen and tonight we are making sheet pan tacos for my family of 14 for dinner. This is a recipe from Princess Pinky Girl. Uh, I've never tried this. It looks so super easy. It just kind of is like a twist on Taco Tuesday. So let's go. I'm going to get the ground beef cooking up first. Now I'm pretty much out of taco seasoning. I've got some. So I'm going to substitute Dano's hot chipotle seasoning and hope for the best. I'm doubling this recipe. So this is already like a giant sheet pan taco recipe. I'm gonna double it. So it's going to be even whatever more giant. Six pounds of ground beef. Going to cut up our onions. I can't remember which knife I just used. Um, yeah, there's even not that many ingredients to this ground beef, onions, tortillas, shredded cheddar, and you know, it's this Mexican mix. Uh, taco seasoning. Now, she puts pico de gallo on hers. I'm going to leave that off. I leave any kind of toppings like that separate so that my kids can pick and choose what they want on theirs because not all of my kids like sour cream, not all of my kids like salsa, you know. Cool. Cool. Hi Miracle, waiting for me to drop something. I'm not going to put too many onions in it either. Hi. Hello. Josh did the shopping today. Not the full, not the full haul, but he did do shopping. I had fun with Alex and Deshaun today. I'll we'll post that in our shopping shorts. I will take free, or I'll take. Two horse back riding. Okay. Yeah. Because then I can edit that promo. Uh, Harvey had a bath this morning. Did you wash the meat thingy? You know, the ground meat stir thing. Did you wash that? No. Where is it? I'm sure there's a technical term for it. That's right. Who went in the garage and got a snack and that thing? And now there's cereal bar and pop tarts everywhere. I say that was passion over there. That's yours. <laughs> Wait, me out one? Yeah. Hey, mom. I'm Bottom layer for our sheet pan tacos down. Oh, 
on the bottom. Nope. No double. Wait, 21 by 15. Okay, yeah. We're doubling her recipe. We are making these so they hang over the edge. Oh, you can't see that. By a couple inches. Well, I've been asking me how I like the Pioneer Woman pan, and I love it. Love it. It's amazing. Okay. We're going to take our canola oil, and we're going to brush a layer all over this entire thing. Connor's a little crowded right now. That dish is drying. says draining the ground beef is optional. It looks like I will drain this batch. It's looking pretty greasy. But you do you. Some people say that takes away the flavor. Some people Say you have to drain it. I don't know. Whatever you feel like doing, all right? We won't judge you. Okay. Whoa. I know. That's a big brain. I'm excited.
That's a big burrito. gonna put a layer of meat on the tortillas. kids like this. I mean, Harley already told me it's going to be disgusting, but hopefully the rest of them like it. I didn't want to just dump it all on there in case there's just this little bit of grease at the bottom that I didn't want to go into it. to cover it with more tortillas. I kind of have to see, yeah, that should be good. She's 
said she used six on the top. Yeah, you got six. Once we do that, and fold these up like a giant, giant burrito. Fold, 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 and more oil. Anywhere that didn't get it yet. And she says to take another pan the same size and put it on top. So we're going to smush this down like that. And then you put a cast iron on top so it's like way down. I moved my top oven rack down to the middle. Just need to get a little bit of oil in my cast iron so it doesn't uh, dry out while it's being used as a taco weight. And we're going to put this in the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, now that's gonna brown up for 30 more minutes. Her recipe says if you see the edges starting to burn, put foil on it like you would a pie plate. So we'll keep an eye on that. I am still not on grocery shopping yet this week. So I'm just gonna scrape together whatever I can for some toppings. Lettuce from this bag of salad. is the hour of the night where it's like my kids are hungry they want a snack but if I give them a snack then they're not gonna eat dinner anyone else battle though 
Josh took Zoe to horseback riding. I didn't realize this taco sheet pan taco thing took an hour to cook. I thought it took half an hour. I clearly didn't read through the entire recipe. He took Zoe. I usually cut up an onion in case anyone wants more onions on their taco. Usually me and Josh. I think I'm gonna have just enough time to get these kids off their electronics, through the shower, into jammies, and then we'll eat dinner. Onions are making me sneeze. <laughs> Sorry. Tomatoes, lettuce, onions, olives. Okay. It's okay. Maybe put a little foil around it. minutes left on the timer. Now it says to let it sit before cutting into it. Let those juices sit. It smells amazing. With cheese, olives, onion, lettuce, pepper. All right. Super easy. We go sheet pan taco toppings chips and salsa and queso Okay, we are getting cleaned up for the night. The kids are heading to bed. 
and um, this was amazing. However, I wanted to tell you, it is so filling. Like a normal piece, I we couldn't even, none of us could finish a normal size portion piece. So I did not have to double this recipe. There was plenty of it, but we will eat the leftovers another day. Thank you for making dinner with me. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time.